For years, there have been rumors and whispers amongst the Four Peaks employees about shadows moving around in the back, about an icy cold chill running down their spine, or the feeling of being watched. Since our founders got the keys to 8th Street here in Tempe, there has been a sense that you're not quite alone in this building, as if past tenants are still wandering the halls of one of Tempe's oldest historical structures. Tonight, we're here to tell you, and to remove the shadow, Four Peaks Brewing Company is haunted. My name is Carter Naki. I'm the event and catering coordinator here at Four Peaks Brewing Company, but I'm also the haunted brewery tour guide. I'm kind of our resident ghost guy, if you will, because I get all the haunted stories told to me all the time. Over the past few months, we've invited investigators from the Arizona Paranormal Investigation and Research Society to check out our building here at 8th Street to see what kind of paranormal activity we actually have happening in the building. And we found a lot. We're here tonight to show you what they found. But before we get to that, I want to point out that I was here during all of the investigations, so everything you're about to see has not been edited or changed in any other way. Our first piece of evidence tonight has to do with this room directly over my shoulder here. It's a small mechanical room, it's kind of full of parts, and just it's a random area that not a lot of people go into here at the brewery, but we got a lot of activity in it, including when we were using a spirit box, which investigators believe uses a bunch of different radio frequencies, and investigators believe that spirits can speak through. Slide up again. Let's play that again. Listen closely for a voice. It sounds like a male voice that comes through the spirit box and says something and then repeats the investigator's name multiple times. This room remained active the entire time during our investigation. Most people who go in this room, including our investigators, Report a feeling of being intimidated, like you're not wanted in the space. And as we learned, it turns out that room is very crowded, even when there's no living person inside. The next clip features yours truly. You'll hear the investigator ask if they remember me, and then at least three different voices reply. Carter's a good guy. Like that's enough. That clip still gives me the worst goosebumps when I hear it. I want to point out that while we were in this room filming that exact clip, it was about 95 degrees in there. So there's, not a, there's no air conditioning in there at all. But the entire time I heard those voices, I felt a very icy cold presence standing directly over my shoulder. We're not exactly sure who those three voices were, but it's possible that one of them is the entity that prefers to live in that room. We're not exactly sure who he is, and we asked him if he worked at the creamery. Did you work here at the creamery? Now this building has a long and storied history, so it's very possible we just haven't found the right news article to tell us exactly who is residing in this building still. However, one of their names could be Anthony, considering what was captured on a camera just outside of this door behind me. One of the most commonly reported spirits here at 8th Street is that of a little girl. She's seen in the shadows of this room and our old barrel room, which is just next door. We don't know a lot about her either, but thanks to the spirit box, it seems we've made contact. So if you like teddy bears, I brought a teddy bear. Thank you. Now the bear we're talking about in this clip isn't your average teddy bear. It has sensors inside that are designed to go off when they detect some sort of presence nearby. This bear sat in our restaurant for hours during the investigation, not going off. We put it in our barrel room though, and it seemed that something or someone wanted to play. That's the bear. You're playing with the bear? Okay. You like that bear? I don't see why we go off all the time. We saved the best evidence for last. We might have caught an actual bona fide shadow person on tape. 
This was filmed by a camera in our old barrel room facing what is currently a keg storage area. Watch closely. That's the end of our evidence for now, but it's not the end of the investigation. We're going to keep digging into the history of this building and hopefully bring in some more paranormal investigators to really figure out what's going on here. Now, I get that a lot of you might be skeptical about what you just saw, and to be honest, I am too a little bit. I think a healthy skepticism is good though when you're investigating the paranormal because it lets you remain unbiased and you can debunk things. But I do have to say that when you're in these back rooms, especially by yourself, it's really creepy. If you don't believe me, come in. Belly up to the bar. Experience for yourself. You never know who or what will join you. See you soon.